Well, local leaders are angry and demanding answers from the Animal Foundation after 13 investigates exposed what insiders describe as a crisis. Both employees and also pet owners revealed a series of problems to Chief Investigator Darcy Spears, are problems that local leaders now say were kept hidden from them. My little girl Suki is 13 years old and she's a rescue. North Las Vegas Mayor Pro Tem Richard Churchio was a dog man long before he became a councilman. What he saw at the Animal Foundation during a 13 investigation shook him. When I saw those animals in the cages looking back at me, uh, if I think about it too much, I start to get teary eyed. For Las Vegas City Councilwoman Victoria Seaman, it's heartbreaking and infuriating. And I'm appalled, I'm shocked. And it is my responsibility as an elected official to get answers and to make sure that we take care of those animals at the shelter. Our investigation exposed overwhelmed, understaffed and unsanitary conditions where employees say animals are needlessly suffering and dying. You've documented your concerns to management more than once. Absolutely, yes. Um, I have sent pictures of um, black mold I found in a cat's kennel, um, roaches, maggots in the, in the chickens outside, um, fly infestations in the rabbit bungalows, um, just dirty kennels in general, animals that haven't had food or water in over 24 hours. Um, I have documented all of this and I have brought it to the attention of my supervisor or the animal care supervisor. Um, I've even brought the attention to the COO and the CEO, Christine Robinson. Um, and just like everything else at the Animal Foundation, it was swept under the rug and not brought to anyone's attention. Councilman Churchio took a tour of the Animal Foundation when we started asking questions about it. And uh, it, it, was, it was horrific. And the, the thing that stuck with me most was when we went into the room uh, where they keep the euthanized animals, that you could actually smell the bodies in the freezer. And I still have that smell in my nose. Over the course of our six month investigation, CEO Christine Robinson announced her retirement effective at the end of this month. And the COO and only remaining full time veterinarian recently quit, as did numerous other employees. Everybody seems to be jumping ship. So from the top to the bottom, there is no organizational um, management whatsoever. And we have to do something. The shelter's marketing director, Daryl Sprague, is currently in charge. He's damage control, okay? That's all he's doing. He's just damage control. And he's coming up with a reason that everything is happening to them, that they're not part of the problem. Churchio believes the problem is of the foundation's own making, starting with the pay for animal care staff. For about 10 bucks an hour. And that's all they get paid. That's in comparison to what uh, the CEO makes over there of 240,000 plus benefits. Uh, I don't know how, uh, be quite frank with you, uh, how people could sleep at night knowing that they've allowed, they've enabled in some fashion or another, this thing to grow to the proportion that it is right now. The Animal Foundation continues to deny all our requests for on-camera interviews. The foundation tells 13 Investigates the shelter is working quickly to improve the treatment and care of lost and abandoned animals by filling open positions, implementing new cleaning protocols, and utilizing community partners to help treat injured animals as they recruit more veterinarians. I don't buy it. And I think at this point, They've had problems for a long time from what I'm understanding with your report. Why didn't they come to the city? Why didn't they go to North Las Vegas or the county for help? They never said we're in crisis, we're losing people. Never, this. never. Why do you think? We're gonna to get to the bottom of it, Darcy. They get approximately $5 million a year between the three jurisdictions, meaning Las Vegas, the county and ourselves, which is taxpayer money to do the right thing. And it's not an easy job. It's just definitely not an easy job. But you need to reach out and communicate with us if you're having a problem. And, and that's not happening. Of particular concern to both council members is the lack of oversight. As we exposed, city animal control had not done routine inspections at the shelter since 2017 and only started scheduling visits this summer after we began investigating. 
So what's wrong with that picture? Everything. And I've asked for a full investigation and a full audit, and I won't rest until we get one. During our initial investigation, the Animal Foundation claimed we are complying with our contracts. What do you make of their claim that they're in no way violating any provisions of their contract? I think they're living on another planet. We're not looking to harm TAF. We just want them to do their job. Simple as that. And if they can't do their job, they need to let us know and get out of the way. At Wednesday's city council meeting, Councilwoman Seaman said it's time for action. I feel like we may require a third party to do an in independent investigation of the operations at the foundation in addition to our own investigation and also modifying our agreement with the foundation to include representation by the city on their board of directors. The foundation invited national expert Dr. Kate Hurley of the UC Davis Shelter Medicine Program to assess shelter conditions. Dr. Hurley led an inspection team in 2007 when the Animal Foundation was previously in crisis. I want that shelter to be scared of backsliding to 2007. I want them to be permanently scared of backsliding to 2007. So what can you do to help? The Animal Foundation says the sheer number of lost and abandoned animals in our community stretches their resources. If you find an animal that's obviously wandered away from home in your neighborhood, they ask that you try to locate its owner rather than bringing it here to the shelter. But if they're not dangerous and bringing it in is like, it's gonna put the whole system in de jeopardy. Like that does not make that bad choice of like either you got to use a nice for space or you're going to have disease run rampant in the facility. Also, make sure your pets are tagged and have a registered microchip so they can be quickly returned to you if they get lost. Also, if you need to give up your pet, try to rehome it first before surrendering it to the animal shelter. The Animal Foundation's full statement is on our website at ktnv.com. We will be keeping close tabs on the city's investigation and audit as we continue to report on everyone's efforts to improve conditions here at the shelter. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.